Alright, this is a weekly reading for Sagittarius. This is, you know, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a stressful re week for a few other um, horoscopes. And, you know, it's, it's tense in some situations. Hopefully yours is a little bit, you know, resolved at this current moment in time, but I'm not sure. So... Anyway, bear with me. Anyway, let's see. Your color of the week is going to be Cyber Grape. Okay? And let's see. Um, and your week's probably going to be about hard work and give and take. So, let's get into your reading. Um, I know, I just channeled your reading while I was looking at it. So, let's see. Um, your week as a whole is going to be the star in reverse. So, um, dreams abandoned, continued striving without results, um, cutting off bad relationships, um, with nothing new on the horizon, bad luck or disappointment, lack of balance between dreams and actions. So, uh, I feel like you're going solo for right now, but you might be, um, working hard in order to achieve something that's been, you know, it's been in a while for you. And don't worry, I know I forgot the five uh, playlist things this week. I'm going to do those last because I kind of channeled your stuff, so I'll do your song at the end, okay? Um, so number two, something unexpected that will arise. We have the eight of pentacles. Artistry, quickness of thought, modesty, straight talk, great personal effort for craft and art, talented. Um, so you could be working on something that you work on with your hands, that you um, make uh, arts and crafts, um, painting, uh, clay. Some people do pottery really well, so you might be getting into that. Um, you know, just stuff that, you know, you have to work hard and actually use skill to do. Um, so, number three, how to stay grounded and balanced. We have the three of wands in reverse. Um, a mistake or a loss, confusion, distraction, and anxiety, and alienation. So, you might just want to be by yourself, you know, <laughs> because alienation is doing everything solo or not fitting in with the status quo at this moment in time. Um, so you're kind of going um, with your own energy right now. Um, so number four, important emotion you will feel this week. We have the five of wands in reverse. So complex, complexity of deeds or decision, um, trickery, unintense, Involvement. So, uh, so there there might be something to do with your reputation or decisions in general, um, or trying to oversell something or exaggerate on something. But um, I, I don't think it has anything to do with your work. Your work speaks for itself, and I feel like that's going to come into play really soon. Um, so you might be overplaying or trying to sell your, um, you know, your crafts and you might be like, oh, these are the best crafts. And, you know, it's all in good fun and jovial. It's not anything too seriously, like you're overselling it. But, um, you know, people are into it. They're like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll look at some of your stuff. But, um, you know, it's, it's like a new chapter in your life doing a new hobby or something. Um, or an old hobby. It could be an old hobby that you kind of abandoned for the time being and then wanted to come back to later on. Um, so, let's see. Number five. Something that will inspire you. We have the Eight of Swords. So, the Eight of Swords. A skeleton in the closet. Um, industry. Uh, depression or discontent a accident possibly fatal so there might be a point where you kind of have your own PTSD um, could be loss of a parent relative friend um, sibling um, somebody close to you 
Um, and it kind of plays with your emotions a lot. It could have happened years ago. And it still kind of plagues you till this moment. Like, oh, your father and mother used to do the same crap that you're doing now. And it kind of plays with your heartstrings a little bit. But it also could draw a lot of inspiration in their mem memory or in their lifestyle. Um, you know, like, if they did pots, you're kind of doing a little bit different, but a little bit more um, to the point of what they used to do. Okay? Um, so we have number six. Um, how your spirit guides will speak to you this week. You have the nine of wands in reverse. So calamity or ill health. Being caught by surprise. A wall of adversity. Long delay. Unhappiness. So um, like I said, you might actually be using sad feelings and thoughts in order to create art or create things. Um, and you might get a lot of criticism for it, or you might have a lot of people like, oh, you're copying so-and-so, or you're doing this. But, um, the fact is, is that with art, a lot of people can do the same type of art, but in their own way, or in their own signia. Um, so make sure that you're doing it your own way. Um, and, you know, just put something that would personally be your own personal way of saying you know, haha, ha, this is mine, you know, kind of thing. And, you know, have fun with it. You don't have to be too depressed, because I, <laughs> I know depression. And, um, you know, try to find enjoyment out of it. You might not find enjoyment out of it until it kind of looks somewhat finished. Like, you might have to do, like, a brush stroke, or you might need to change a shape on it. Or something to that effect. But, like, depression can be a great energy for creation or for invention. So, use it as a creative outlook or creative energy. And I feel like you're going to su even surprise yourself, okay? Um, <laughs> believe me, my... Um, my medication for my depression I stopped taking a long time ago but um I've been creating stuff you know I I create art and sell it and it goes it goes pretty fast so use your depression or anxiety for art it works a lot better than you may think um so number seven how to best support yourself this week we have the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is ruin, a senseless delay, or cancellation before the beginning. Um, anger, unfulfilled dream, uh, decadence, a meaningless existence. Again, you're you're kind of a little depressed there, aren't you? I have, I, I have clinical depression, but... Um, it's, it's the point where you kind of feel trapped in a situation where you feel like there's no outlet. So you kind of, you know, either go in on yourself or you want to sleep all the time. Or you're just not interested in stuff that you used to be interested in. Um, so I would do a creative outlook, even if it's writing um, in a journal. <laughs> I would do that. Or taking pictures or so something... Something that you always wanted to do, like, um, I've been building my garden and a lot of times I want to create a water feature or a stoneware feature just to add some dimension to it. You might want to start a garden, like I said, um, and just use your own creativity of images that you've always wanted to see. It might take a little bit of manipulation or it might take a little bit of clay or, you know, little bit of construction just to make it work and to actually figure out um, different things you know it, your your mind has to be learning in order for depression not to be a thing anymore so um, it might help you just to keep your mind off of things that you're facing at the current moment so that you kind of have fulfillment and you also can kind of relate to other people okay um, it's not going to totally go away over time. It mostly stays stagnant, but if you're constantly excited about doing something new 
and experimenting with mediums or with things. Um, Depression seems to be like a backseat driver, you know, it kind of shows you where you need to go, but at the same time, nobody said that you couldn't have the music on and the windows down while you're doing it, you know, um, and just, you know, live your life, okay, life is too short, you know, I spent, I spent 10 years mourning my good friend and my first boyfriend, so, you know, um, it goes through, um, cycles, I think. So, you know, just, just remember that, that, you know, you just have to enjoy life, even if it's like every other day or once a week, you know, kind of things. All right. And let's see your song. Like I promised. Uh, let's see. Let's do America, a horse with no name. Okay. And I will see you in the next reading. You can look up all the other things on my playlist down below in the description if you want to look at those. Um, and, you know, just, you know, try to find an outlet for your um, depression and stuff like that. It's, it's probably going to be a long time before it clears, but, you know, you still have to be present. You don't have to be happy about it. You just have to be present, okay? Um, I don't really like talking to morning people and I don't like to talk to um, people that really don't get it. Like, they're in their own little world or they think everybody else is out to get them, you know? Um, but you kind of have to be alright with yourself. The rest of the world's gonna be naysayers and cancel culture and all this other stuff, but, you know, you have to stay sane and listen to somebody who's not constantly giving you bad energies and bad vibes, okay? I don't feel like that's me, though, so, you know, um, all I can do is give you advice about what you can and can't do, okay? Um, but you, in turn, take on what you need to take on in order to feel better about yourself, okay? Anyway, I will see you in the next reading, Sagittarius. Hopefully everything goes alright, and, uh, you know, you find purpose, I feel. Um, it's necessary, and I feel like it will help you cope with a lot of things. Because I feel like a lot of heavy situations are coming ahead, okay? Um, and I've been through a lot of them myself, and it doesn't get better, it's just... You have to figure out what's more important, you doing what you like to do or being in that situation constantly in your mind where you relive certain things and, oh, I shouldn't have said that when I said it or I shouldn't do this or I shouldn't do that, okay? Just remember, you need to breathe, you need to figure out what you feel like doing that day, you do it. Um... But hopefully it's not, you know, anything self-destructive. But, you know, I, I can't really make the decision for you, okay? Just, you know, be alright with being okay, alright? I will see you in the next reading, alright? Bye now.